dehydration and starvation, one remarkable kangaroo may be on the ropes. Can he make it through hell on earth? Or is this one fight even the red kangaroo can't win? Australia, the oldest continent on the planet. Almost three quarters of it looks like this. At its centre, it gets five inches of rain a year. The mercury can hit 110 degrees Fahrenheit. But the hardest part for those who live here is the climate's unpredictable personality. This is a place where there are no true seasons. Only moods. To make it here, you need to be able to roll with the punches and shift gears in a hurry. The acknowledged master of that art in the Australian outback is the red kangaroo. The largest marsupial in the world. This female is pregnant. Red kangaroo females are almost always pregnant. They've evolved to adapt their reproductive systems to the unpredictable whims of the environment. At any given moment, a female can have three offspring to care for, each at a different stage of development. This is number one, the peanut. After 33 days developing in the womb, the newborn emerges as a blind, hairless, pink creature, roughly the size of a peanut. We call him Rusty. There's virtually no sign of the powerful hind legs we all associate with the kangaroo. He uses his arms to make the gruelling trek up the belly to his mother's nipple, guided solely by instinct and smell. Almost immediately, the female goes into heat again, releasing hormones that stimulate ovulation. Once fertilized, the mother's endocrine system puts the development of this new embryo on hold. That's number two. Its progress won't be kick-started again until the peanut reduces his suckling. Number three is the joey, who's spending some time suckling from outside the pouch and some out on his own in the big wide world. assembly line of young at various stages of development. But when times are hard, the system has to be ruthless. She will cut off nutrition to the peanut in her pouch, and when it dies, she'll restart the embryo's development to take his place. Rusty's developing nicely he's beginning to resemble something like a baby kangaroo. Now three months old, he can hear all the sounds of the world he'll soon be inhabiting. It's all so unfamiliar. It's not surprising he'd prefer to stay in the pouch for just a while longer.
There's plenty of... But Rusty's not the only one in the neighbourhood with a serious set of legs. An emu, the biggest native bird in Australia, announces his arrival. His skirt of feathers absorbs 80% of solar radiation, leaving the skin underneath cool. This dad needs a cool head. In the emu world, dads take on all parental responsibility. The chicks will be under his wing for 18 months. Not exactly the red kangaroo way. Males are pretty much deadbeat dads. They leave as soon as the young are conceived. Rusty also still relies on his mother for food and protection, so he tends to stay close. But apparently he's also got an independent streak. Maybe there's even more fun out there. Soon, he leaves the rest of the mob and is in uncharted territory. Not a good place for a baby kangaroo to be. A wedge-tailed eagle. The largest bird of prey in Australia. And it likes to take young kangaroos. Mum realises she doesn't know where Rusty is. But the eagle does. Rusty's big ears and instincts tell him something's not right, but he's too young and inexperienced to know what it is. Rusty left his mother's side, then he's in trouble. With the bone-crushing power of her talons, the eagle could seize Rusty and drag him to his death. But suddenly, 